Hi, my name is Mark and we're going to look at how to set up a new software business. When we talk about the word software, we're talking about understanding computer language or languages. There are many of them and when contemplating this, it's either a background that you already have from working in that industry or it's something you're interested in. And if it's something you're interested in, then you have two options. One, to go and study it at the school or college and really learn about the, the languages, the packages available. Or two, is to actually go into business of selling them, which means that you become a distributor for various packages and programs, become a reseller, which is a different thing altogether. Of course, it's good to have an, a knowledge and understanding, but you don't have to become a specialist in it particularly. You just have to know that you're marketing the business effectively and that people who you're marketing to will find out about it and will come to you, whether it be online or retail. And for that, of course, when you're talking about setting up a business, you then need to think about the agreements, the merchandising and uh, distribution agreements that you require to become a distributor for those particular products and services. Is it a product or service that you can add to an existing business that you already have? So this is something else you can consider. Maybe you're already in the computer the hardware business and you want to add the software to give a more rounded, uh, balanced service. So you need to think about the options that you have available to you. Are you going to go back to college to study and actually get into the designing of software or are you going to just be selling the software packages? These are the options you need to consider. Of course, as I mentioned, the licensing and merchandising uh, agreements if you are going to be a reseller. And are you going to add this service to what, any business that you already have? Or are you going to set up something completely new and fresh? In which case, then you would have to consider the four Ps again. The product, the service you're offering, the place. Are you going to be doing this online, at home, in an office, or retail, for example? Is the pricing policy going to be competitive? Or because you're selling, for example, a package that has a recommended retail price, you have to think about your pricing policy. Are you going to be offering something as an added value or in a competitive way? And how are you going to promote yourself? Are you going to be advertising in magazines, in specialist press, trade press? Or are you going to be locally marketing yourself so people know that you're available? These are questions you need to consider.